Today I'm gonna show you how to style your fashion-inspired boudoir shoots. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yule Panchenko and today we will go over creating some styles or looks for fashion inspired and editorial style of boudoir. And if you want to learn more, sign up for our boudoir photography platform Believe in Boudoir. And more information you can find in the description. So let's start from props. Um, what we're going to use for today's shoot uh, is the camera because I'm a photographer and I want to bring that personality of a photographer in my photographs. So I'm going to use this um, film camera, Nikon. And we're going to use, or may not, use some cigarettes. I don't promote smoking in this video, but uh, this is a good prop just maybe to create uh, some texture with uh, the smoke itself or to hold something and just to uh, look cool. For editorial style of boudoir, I love to use simple props, simple furniture, like for instance, a stool like that. It's uh, great for posing. You create a variety of posing using this uh, specific style of uh, stools. I can also use apple box uh, or my uh, posing tubes, uh, any cool chairs that you have in the studio or at home. So those are uh, the items that we will try to use for my shoot. Uh, when it comes to lighting, we will, we're going to talk more about lighting in the course that you can find on our platform. Uh, but for today, we will also try to use a snoot. And snoots are great to create some patterns, uh, straight lines, a very great tool for editorial style of photography in general. Uh, now let's move to the outfits. I'm going to move this away. Oops, yeah, I'll keep that. I really like that window. Um, so let's move this closer to my frame. Here are the outfits that I brought for my shoot today. And as you can see, they are mainly jackets, um, long jackets, oversized jackets, and that will perfectly work. Again, today's video is just about looks for this editorial style of boudoir. So I'm gonna go over uh, the outfits first, and then I'm gonna try some of them. I put them on and do self-portraits so you could see how it looks uh, in the photographs. So we will start from, let's say, this leather jacket. Uh, this leather jacket all looks, always looks great for Buddha photography. No matter what style you're going for, uh, you can ask your model or your client to bring this type of jacket for the shoot. You can ask them to wear with uh, boots or high heels. Always looks cool with mm, some lingerie uh, under, under it or no lingerie at all. So here I have a little bit longer style of jacket. This is like a winter jacket, but we'll see how this works. I don't, I'm not sure if that's the perfect, um, perfect size for this style of shoot, but we will try and see. So I think this one would be my favorite option because it's not too short, not too long, and I can wear that just with a bra and panties, and I think that will look cool. And this is a similar, similar jacket, but without any buttons. I brought it just to have a different color available for me for the shoot. And I also have this bra, or I can use it, sometimes I, I just wear it as a crop top with a jacket or blazer under it. So I think that's another cool option for the shoot. Uh, I also have white option. Um, which uh, again it looks similar to the previous ones um, but um, just wanted to show you because it has some different texture and it's different color uh, we can also use a sheer tops like this this sheer top i like to use without bra uh, or a simple no lace bra that would also work for that um, if your client is not comfortable Mm, being nude completely. So this is a cool item uh, with just simple underwear. 
and of course lingerie goes under <laughs> all of these options that we have or one piece item like that um, so I really love this one uh, I have a bra so let me show you this is the bra I was talking about it's very uh, simple black bra without any lace and that will perfectly work for uh, this type of top or for a dress like that so this dress is really cool I love it so you can just ask your model or your client to wear underwear and a bra and I think that would look perfect or even jeans and no bra so there is a lot of options you can experiment all of them will look absolutely great um, this is another option that I brought for the shoot uh, this bra has more lace and uh, it's it's always in fashion this type of bras so we'll try to use this under one of these jackets and if there is no lingerie available at all then don't use any just uh, ask your subject to wear a jacket with no bra and it will still look really cool so who is this style for of course for models who want to do editorial type of shoot and that would perfectly work for them it works for uh, regular clients who are let's say business owners or influencers and they want to show their personality combine it with the confidence and success that they have uh, in one uh, simple elegant uh, sensual style of boudoir that is going to work for them as well um, returning clients who let's say have done already a different style of boudoir and they want something different they always come back and ask me hey what can we do now and I always recommend to do something like that and they always get excited because those type of images can be shared on social media or another way uh, to uh, showcase the images are to, is to print them uh, big on the wall and show it to the rest of the world. Be proud of who you are, about your achievements. So if you want to upsell and uh, sell more prints, and this is the type of session you can always offer to your clients. So now I'm gonna put some of these outfits on and show you the looks. Uh, do self-portrait so you could see how these outfits would look in the photographs. So this is my first outfit. I'm wearing a blazer with pants. Uh, the colors are matching and I'm wearing a bra without any texture. So it's a very simple black bra that uh, fits the style of uh, the blazer and the pants. Reason I'm wearing pants because this blazer is very short so I want to have at least one look wearing pants and then the rest of the blazers are going to be without the pants. So let's take a couple of images with this look with this outfit and move on to our next outfit. Moving to our second outfit, I'm wearing a long jacket. It's white. We are photographing it white on white. You may opt for other options like darker backdrop that would look much better, but we're not going to do another setup and we will go with what we have and just show you how this specific looks uh, look <laughs> looks in photographs, too many looks. Um, this uh, long jacket can be, you can wear it with a bra or no bra, uh, no panties or no panties. So you can go with minimum or you can add some elements to your look. So now let's take some photos. This is my third outfit, third look. I'm wearing a long blazer with lingerie under it. I'm wearing a nice bra and panties. Uh, so this blazer is perfect for any kind of poses. Uh, you can keep it on 
or and be with a blazer on and just show a little bit of lingerie or this blazer can you can take it off and just photograph your subject wearing lingerie with jacket off the shoulder or you can play with variety of poses so I think this is one of the best options because uh, it's very comfortable and it's um, comfortable for posing for variety of poses so now let's go ahead and take some photos This is my next outfit, my next look. I'm wearing a leather jacket and it goes perfectly with one piece uh, lacy lingerie or bra panties or nothing at all. So for now I'm going to do the uh, one piece lingerie and I think it looks cute. So now let's take some photos and take a look. Moving to our next look with a sheer dress, a panties and a bra. Uh, this looks very elegant and it's also comfortable uh, for those women who um, they want to do some lingerie sh shots but they're not very comfortable. So this feels like you're still in a dress but it's uh, transparent so it works for boudoir style. Now let's take some photos and see how this outfit looks in the photographs. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. Again, this was only about styling and never uh, be afraid to experiment with a different style. Uh, try something different, try something new. Uh, this video was not about lighting or composition or posing. So if you want to learn more, uh, sign up for Believe in Boudoir. Uh, check us out, all the information in the description of this video. Uh, stay tuned and believe in boudoir. See you next time.